In quantum physics, the spin-orbit interaction is an interaction of a particle's spin with its motion. The first and best known example of this is that spin-orbit interaction causes shifts in an electron's atomic energy levels due to electromagnetic interaction between the electron's spin and the magnetic field generated by the electron's orbit around the nucleus. This is detectable as a splitting of spectral lines. A similar effect, due to the relationship between angular momentum and the strong nuclear force, occurs for protons and neutrons moving inside the nucleus, leading to a shift in their energy levels in the nuclear shell model. In the field of spintronics, spin orbit effects for electrons in semiconductors and other materials are explored for technological applications. The spin-orbit interaction is one cause of magnetocrystalline anisotropy. Spin-orbit interaction in atomic energy levels. This section presents a relatively simple and quantitative description of the spin-orbit interaction for an electron bound to an atom. Up to first order in perturbation theory, using some semi-classical electrodynamics and non-relativistic quantum mechanics. This gives results that agree reasonably well with observations. A more rigorous derivation of the same result would start with the Dirac equation, and achieving a more precise result would involve calculating small corrections from quantum electrodynamics. Energy of a magnetic moment The energy of a magnetic moment in a magnetic field is given by where mu is the magnetic moment of the particle and b is the magnetic field it experiences. Magnetic field We shall deal with the magnetic field first. Although in the rest frame of the nucleus, there is no magnetic field acting on the electron, there is one in the rest frame of the electron. Ignoring for now that this frame is not inertial, in SI units we end up with the equation where V is the velocity of the electron in E the electric field it travels through. Now we know that E is radial so we can rewrite. Also we know that the momentum of the electron, substituting this in and changing the order of the cross product gives. Next, we express the electric field as the gradient of the electric potential. Here we make the central field approximation, that is, that the electrostatic potential is spherically symmetric, so is only a function of radius. This approximation is exact for hydrogen and hydrogen-like systems. Now we can say where is the potential energy of the electron in the central field, and E is the elementary charge. Now we remember from classical mechanics that the angular momentum of a particle. Putting it all together we get it is important to note at this point that B is a positive number multiplied by L. Magnetic moment of the electron The magnetic moment of the electron is where is the spin angular momentum vector, is the Bohr magnetin and is the electron spin G factor. Here, is a negative constant multiplied by the spin, so the magnetic moment is anti-parallel to the spin angular momentum. The spin orbit potential consists of two parts. The Lama part is connected to the interaction of the magnetic moment of the electron with the magnetic field of the nucleus in the co-moving frame of the electron. The second contribution is related to Thomas' precession. Lama interaction energy The Lama interaction energy is substituting in this equation expressions for the magnetic moment and the magnetic field. One gets now, we have to take into account Thomas' precession correction for the electron's curved trajectory. Thomas interaction energy in 1926 Lowell and Thomas relativistically recomputed the doublet separation in the fine structure of the atom. Thomas precession rate is related to the angular frequency of the orbital motion of a spinning particle as follows where is the Lorentz factor of the moving particle. The Hamiltonian producing the spin precession is given by to the first order in. We obtain total interaction energy the total spin orbit potential in an external electrostatic potential takes the form the net effect of Thomas. 
precession is the reduction of the Lama interaction energy by factor one-half which came to be known as the Thomas half. Evaluating the energy shift thanks to all the above approximations, we can now evaluate the detailed energy shift in this model. In particular, we wish to find a basis that diagonalizes both H0 and delta H. To find out what basis this is, we first define the total angular momentum operator taking the dot products of this with itself, we get, and therefore it can be shown that the five operators H0, J2, L2, S2, and Jz all commute with each other and with delta H. Therefore, the basis we were looking for is the simultaneous eigenbasis of these five operators. Elements of this basis have the five quantum numbers, n, j, l, s, and j, z. To evaluate the energies, we note that for hydrogenic wave functions and final energy shift we can now say where spin-orbit interaction in solids. A crystalline solid is characterized by its band structure, while on the overall scale the spin-orbit interaction is still a small perturbation. It may play a relatively more important role if we zoom into bands close to the Fermi level depends on the particular system. The bands of interest can be then described by various effective models, usually based on some perturbative approach. An example of how the atomic spin-orbit interaction influences the band structure of a crystal is explained in the article about rash bar interaction. Examples of effective Hamiltonians whole bands of a bulk zinc blend semiconductor will be split by into heavy and light holes in a split-off band. Including two conduction bands, the system is described by the effective eight-band model of Cohn and Luttinger. If only top of the valence band is of interest, the proper four-band effective model is where are the Luttinger parameters and are angular momentum three-halves matrices. In combination with magnetization, this type of spin-orbit interaction will distort the electronic bands depending on the magnetization direction thereby causing magnetocrystalline anisotropy. If the semiconductor moreover lacks the inversion symmetry, the whole bands will exhibit cubic dressel house splitting. Within the four bands, the dominant term is where the material parameter for gas, two-dimensional electron gas in an asymmetric quantum well will feel the rash bar interaction. The appropriate two-band effect of Hamiltonian is where is the two times two identity matrix, the Pauli matrices and the electron effective mass. The spin-orbit part of the Hamiltonian is parametrized by, sometimes called the rash bar parameter, which is related to the structure of asymmetry. Above expressions for spin-orbit interaction couple spin matrices into the quasi-momentum, and to the vector potential of an AC electric field through the Peel substitution. They are lower order terms of the Lattinger cone expansion in powers if. Next terms of this expansion also produce terms that couple spin operators of the electron coordinate. Indeed, a cross product is invariant with respect to time inversion. In cubic crystals, it has a symmetry of a vector and acquires a meaning of a spin orbit contribution to the operator of coordinate. For electrons in semiconductors with a narrow gap between the conduction and heavy hull bands, Yaffet derived the equation where is a free electron mass and is a factor properly renormalized for spin orbit interaction. This operator couples electron spin directly to the electric field through the interaction energy. Electron spin in inhomogeneous magnetic field. Distinctive feature of spin-orbit interaction is presence in the Hamiltonian of a term that includes a product of orbital and spin operators. In atomic systems these are orbital and spin angular momentum, respectively, and in solids the quasi momentum and Pauli matrices. This term couples orbital and spin dynamics. In particular, it allows manipulating electron spin by a electric field through electric dipole spin resonance. A similar effect can be achieved through the Lama energy if the magnetic field is inhomogeneous. 
Then the derivatives such as play a role similar to spin orbit coupling and allow electrical manipulation of electron spin in solids should be changed to where is the Bohr magnetin and is a factor tensor can also be dependent. In particular, this mechanism is currently used for EDSR in nanostructures, textbooks, EU, Condon and G. H. shortly. The Theory of Atomic Spectra, Cambridge University Press, ISBN 0-521-092094-D, J. Griffiths, Introduction to Quantum Mechanics, Prentos Hall, Landau, Lev, Lifshitz, Evgeny, 72, Fine Structure of Atomic Levels, Quantum Mechanics, Non-Relativistic Theory, Volume 3, U, Peter Way, Manuel Cardona, Fundamentals of Semiconductors, Winkler, Roland, Spin-Orbit Coupling Effects in Two-Dimensional Electron and Hole Systems.